Uljin is always tough to play, but it's probably my favorite hero. So, try to go full focus. There's some turns where I just don't even use this thing. Where it's too much work, too much thinking, and I'm just like, fuck it. No, it's not it's not big enough of a deal. Just play your turn and you know, if something's really good, then swap it. If not, fuck it. It's not good enough. Science is built on mistakes. That's why I'm good at it. Alright. Now back to the good part. That's keeping it simple for Bulgin. I got the best deals anywhere. I think I might freeze here and play a Swabby next turn, play another Swabby in tier. No. I can move on the board here as well. This way the snail is a bit bigger. Not that it's a big deal, I don't think I'm gonna buy it. But now I can play Swabby and move the Swabbies around. Give them free stats. And this allows me to level, because I'll get the Swabby discount. Yeah. So I wanted Snail because it's kinda nice to buff, but the Captain and Swabbies just makes more sense. I can move the 4-4 four, four to the Swabby, and then it's a 5-5 five, five on the board. Then I can trade the money this tier. It's kind of nice to have the money, but I don't think it's worth not tiering, especially with how clean the gold is right now. Well, now I have a 5-5 five, five here that can be swapped around, gain more stats. So we're just sneaking a stat point here and there with the Captain Aura. These are the little Vulgin tips and tricks that it's really fun to, to know and use. Keep it real. Using temporary Auras and making them permanent due to swap. Oof. How did they even get that? Round tier 2, right? Left, I guess. Fair that pat, no, no. Stole it off someone. Ouch. Hey, you know what? Let's try that again. If I swap these guys. It's plus one, plus one. If I swap five, five on top of the captain. Then this becomes a four, four. I think keeping Captain alive longer by default, it's it's gonna be worth it, so. I guess this doesn't get the rebuff, right? This doesn't. Mm. No, no, then I want it here. Now back to the good part. Yeah, big taunted snail is such an annoying thing for people to do. You don't really get to kill anything in the back, and then they put the large, they put the two damage guys in the back just to hit you harder. It would have been nice for me to buy good cards here, but the shop just wasn't good. So I'm going to four to open up good cards. Uh, but that's a huge hit. You could cycle the scout here for triple for Scallywag. If we had a better shop, I think that would be a no-brainer. But I guess you could still sell whatever you get here, so. Not opposed to it. I'll do what I can. Yeah, cat's a break even, so we can just go cat and roll. Double Pashmar. Let's see. Pashmar's a good unit for. 
um, thingy about. I guess I can move the 6-6 six, six to the Pashmar. Then it rebuffs. Pick Pashmar in the back, freeze, get the other one. Could also make the 1-1 one, one large. I don't think I want to waste time on that. Big Pashmar. So predictable. Repsnarl is doing a lot of work here. Alright, we got plus two, plus two to make permanent. Golden Swabby would do some work. At least it's probably still okay. Eggy ball of minions, more rip snarl. I mean, it works. I think I want one or two more good minions. Some new guys. Just don't Scout is still interesting. The There's money as well to bank here. I think I will just slam. I don't think we can hold or do anything else. The Nessa on this board is nasty. Yeah, I think you just have the Vanessa. You can make the Vanessa big so she survives. Hogger would be great. Glow scale is great. But Vanessa on this board is too good. The we can move this here and then potentially sell this. Let's see. I want the big Vanessa, that's for sure. I want to win Fury it. Oh, I should have win Fury it first. My bad. I want this money. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I guess Scallywag was an upgrade. Yeah, okay, maybe. I could have played Scallywag for the Pashmars. So I could have sold Swabby, sold Chow Collector, play money, play Scallywag. Beautiful. Yeah, big win Fury Vanessa is uh, pretty insane. So I made a big... Well, not a big. I made a small mistake not getting the Scallywag on the board. But I like the play that I made of staying on 4, getting that triple. Because that win Fury Vanessa just carried hard, hard, hard. Got some really nice perma stats now. Okay. So from here on out, we definitely do level. We can swap this Swabby before we sell it, for instance, so probably okay. So we can find our triple. Maybe some things to make the Pashmar proc, but not entirely sure. We could buy this Archer to get more damage, but again, I'm not quite sure. I think now we can move to Hogger or get more Vanessa or get more Rip Snarl or find triples. I think that's probably better than buying a random Spellcraft. The Spellcraft is plus four, plus four. But I would have to sell this. So you play it, you buff this, you swap it. I feel like with the Vanessa, that's not really what we're doing. I don't think I'm going to buy it. This is a good swap target for sure. Horse for now, because I need the uh, pirates attacking in the front. You could sell this for the cleave. Put it in your hand and then swap later. Yeah. And then I can make a uh, switch to cleave later, and I didn't have to waste gold this turn. Because at some point we just swap the Vanessa stats, but right now it's pretty good that she's big because it helps me create other big minions that I can then swap away from. Alright, we got the Wind Fury for next turn. So maybe a big Wind Fury cleave, or maybe the Wind Fury Vanessa, we'll see. Golden Pashmar would still be interesting. Alright, extra damage makes the cleave definitely more exciting. So maybe I level to 6 now and make a big Wind Fury cleave. 
of extra cash here as well. Yeah, I think level roll. Sell money, roll one more. Sell Vanessa buy. Or do I want the card here? But I think I do want to buy a card and sell. Stargaze Elder, big divine shield. So let's do first things first. I want this Hydra on the board. I want this damage on the Vanessa. I want to switch it to the Hydra. And then I want to win through the Hydra. I go win through the Hydra first. No, it's not true. I'm selling Vanessa. It's a 3 5 now, right? Yeah. You could put the Dargaze on your board, but it's kind of slow. I feel like I just put the shield on my board. I don't think I'm going to play Dark Gaze with zero Naga, with zero Cobra on my board. That seems like an unlikely play. No, this is a good example of the power of Vol'jin. Just understanding that, all right, all I got to do is make a big thing and then when the time is right, switch. And suddenly you have a big Wind Fury Cleave. All right, so that made us very strong there. Yeah, that would have been fun, but it's all kind of late, to be honest. I think in this position, we look for the Wind Fury Divine Shield, we look for Queen, we look for Leroy, we look for the Stripple, maybe look for Greta. Turn 10 already, two people already dead. Alright, we found the Greta, there's another horse. I can move this 11-13 to the horse. And then we have to just either triple the horse later or... Something else with it. All right, the divine shield is beautiful. So this is always out. This is always in. I think I'm just getting out of these two and hold Pashmar for now, and I make a golden glow scale so I can shield my cleave and I can shield my horse. Maybe there was a way to cycle the muck, but rolling onto your six is not the worst anyway. So on these two down. That's an 11-13. Yeah, another shield is better here. So I'm not cycling the jug. Uther. How do we Uther? Let's first get this out of the way before we forget. What's the positioning here? They had a thing already, right? So you'd like to kill that. It had 10 health. It's kind of optimistic, but I think bumping with this, attacking with this, and then cleaving. Maybe we get there. If I freeze the Uther, how, how do I use it? I'm not sure yet, but I'll use it. Uther is so useful as Vol'jin. It's 15-15 on something with a swap, so... We can do that for a triple, we can do that for a magnetic. It's 17 HP, so... And didn't hit the bump anyway. Ah, this is quite annoying. Ooh, we bumped the shield now. That's nice. Sniping my cleave shield is pretty annoying. I never die here, but I also never win. Ashmar dying early. Pepper hands. Okay then. Definitely annoying combat. Alright, Eliza dying at the end is good. We got a show like a lure. I could get two shields again. There's no Murlocs. Still want Leroy, I still want Queen. I have to really look at what my next opponent's doing. Next opponent is seven pirates, so yeah, Leroy Queen's still pretty good. I've changed my mind on this, I don't think I have. Okay. Big taunt, I don't think I want it. Golden Eliza on this board, I don't think so. I think finding the Wind Fury is a big deal. Yeah. I can make gold and money, but I can get an extra shield. I'd rather get the extra shield. The magnetic, but no good mech. Alright. That's a turn where I need to go hard here. That's a golden ball if I want it, and I think I do want it, so... Gotta sell all the shit I don't want to buff. 
right. For justice. I could have swapped something, but I'm not swapping this way, right? Nah, the Uther is fine. I could still swap now. Oh, I could have maybe kept it because if I buff it, yeah. That's okay, though. Alright, so... Buff, 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 buff. Tell sell. Alright, so I should have done that differently. Um, very differently. That's okay, though. Uh, like I said, Vol'jin is a hero where you're just going to play poorly. I always feel like I'm uh, such a big noob whenever I play this hero. I still really love it, though. Because I'm Vol'jin, like, I could have easily um, kept my cards. Still in a decent ish spot here, though. Now you can just refill. Yeah, that was a bad play. When in doubt, throw it up. <laughs> Five beasts. That means we actually still have a chance here. So this is some HP. Okay. So I can make this 25 health, so that's a 50 health minion all of a sudden. So like here. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do that. Going second here kind of sucks. So. Yeah, that's not being a bit bigger is a bit annoying. But at least we kill this cleave, which is good. Yeah, and their Goldrin doesn't die. It was actually a perfectly sized taunt. Never mind. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. What a master plan, chat. Of course I make a 3-3 taunt. It's all calculated. Alright, now we definitely have a much, much better chance, because we used this turn to build a giant Myrmidon. We could still hit the Divine Shield Wind Fury. Leroy in the front for this could do better. Higher player died to the mech player, that makes sense. You did it! You survived, and I have no idea how. So Blaster, maybe put some health here. I don't think I'm interested in this. Mildly interested in that, but also not really. Because these are all pretty good uses of my stats already. I don't think I want to swap this away. I think I'm just going to look for counters this turn and not really care about the hero power too much. Southless is a pretty interesting card on my board due to the horses. That I think you're supposed to buy. Alright, not quite hitting it here. Could technically run parrots on the selfless after going Leroy. But keeping this to tank their deflectobot might just be better. Just put some stats on the Leroy. I think I prefer that then. Nothing scares me except knights. It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. <laughs> I 
Kill their macro. Good cleave. Uh oh. Ah, that actually survived. Nice. Didn't think I was gonna survive the hit. Okay, so now I get the pirate opponent. Or the beast player dies to the ghost. But no. Okay. Yeah, Wind Fury Divine Shield on this thing is still gonna do carry really hard. Golden Horse is kind of interesting. It's kind of a tough call now. I can swap some stats here and... Yeah, it's not really the right line, but... This is where my brain is uh, failing me and I just need to go. Luther's still kind of useful. I have the taunts. Red Eye is really good. I think I hold the Uther and hope to get away with it. Myrmidon should be a really tough unit for them to deal with. Same with the horse. Yeah, fight this one. So now we're getting triple the value on the Myrmidon. Some argument to move more away from the horse, but we'll see. So it's a beast player here. Okay. Congratulations to me. That's a big, big hit versus a beast player. So shield's gonna be good. This is never gonna stay. Okay, just one step at a time. We're almost there. We've almost stumbled across the finish line. Just a couple more steps, Jet. Yeah, we just need to disrupt beasts, essentially. If I hit this triple, it's pretty sick. Because then I can make it giga large. So I'm running the Wind Fury. I could run Baron with Selfless here, which is fine. I could just Uther this. I feel like the horse going here is still better now, but then again, if I'm running Selfless, it's not, right? So this is not going to be on the board. I'm not sure of the stat swap. I guess I might even want to cleave bigger, to be honest. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's do this. I think the horse is going here. Everything goes according to my plan. I'm just trying to mess with them now with the uh, cleave. Get it big enough. Selfless is also really annoying when it's taunted here. Such a huge buff still though. Holy shit. Alright, we hit the horse. The shield on the Leroy is uh, pretty brutal. But that's good. Yeah, we got it. 
Like I said, man, Vol'jin, it's... Every time I play it, I feel like a noob, but it's so strong if you do it even okay-ish, right? Oh, man.